My name is Ryan Hardigan from Econ Technologies, the creators of ChronoSync and ChronoAgent. This is the second part of a two-part video series on how to sync files between two Macs using ChronoSync. In this part I'll show you how to configure a ChronoSync sync document and run a sync syncing a folder from an iMac to a MacBook Pro, both running OS X version 10.7.3. The iMac will be considered the source Mac and the MacBook Pro will be considered the destination Mac in this example. If you're using a different version of OS X, the steps may be slightly different for you. This screencast assumes you've already configured your remote Mac for file sharing, and made it accessible via Finder of your ChronoSync Mac. If you've not done this already, please watch the screencast linked below to learn how to do this. This is the type of sync document you would create if you simply wanted an up-to-date copy of all of your desktop computer's documents on your laptop so you could take them with you on the road. If you plan on modifying those files and syncing them back to your desktop Mac, you'll need to set up a bi-directional sync operation, which is the subject of another screencast. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I'll do is launch ChronoSync, which can be found in the Applications folder. A new sync document should appear. If one does not, I can create one by going to the menu bar and selecting File, New, Synchronizer. What is displayed is the Setup panel. This is where I can choose my sync targets and set the type of sync operation I want. In the left target pane, I'm going to click the Choose button, select the Documents folder found in my User Home folder, then press Select. In the right target pane, I'm going to click the Choose button, select my MacBook Pro under Shared, select my User Home folder, then select the Documents folder and click Select as well. Next, I'll click the Options button for my remote MacBook Pro target. Make sure Attempt to Mount Server and Login As are enabled. Then enter the username and password for the user account on the remote Mac, which is my MacBook Pro in my case. Click OK to close the sheet. Now I'm ready to configure the rest of my sync document. I'm going to make sure the sync operation is set to backup left to right, the left target being my iMac that has ChronoSync installed and the right target being my MacBook Pro that I'll be syncing files to. I'm going to enable archive replaced files. This adds an extra layer of protection from data loss by saving a copy of any file that is going to be overwritten on the MacBook Pro. Now I'm going to switch to the options panel. I'm going to change the special file and folder handling pop-up to custom and then I'll enable ignore invisibles. This tells ChronoSync to ignore all invisible files and exclude them from the sync to avoid syncing files automatically created and maintained by the OS. Now I can switch back to the setup panel. There will be several readiness warnings in the readiness state pane below the target panes. These are normal warnings because I'm syncing to a volume mounted over the network. Since I am logged into the network share as a registered user, file ownership will be automatically set to the registered user on the destination volume. ACLs are not supported over a file sharing connection. These warnings are safe to ignore in this situation. With my sync document configured, I can save it by going to the menu bar and selecting File, Save. With my sync document configured and saved, I'm ready to run a trial sync to get a basic idea of what to expect from the sync. To do this, I click the Trial Sync button in the toolbar of my saved sync document. ChronoSync will begin analyzing and comparing the two directories, and soon a sheet will appear showing the files to be synced with status arrows. For more information on these arrows, from the menu bar select Help, Status Icon Legend. If I want to exclude a file from being synced, I can right click it and select Exclude. With everything to my liking, I will click the Synchronize button and wait for the Synchronization Complete sheet to appear with the results of the sync. The final result is that I've synced my Documents folder from my iMac to my MacBook Pro using ChronoSync. If you have any questions about this screencast, ChronoSync, or ChronoAgent, just visit our website at econtechnologies.com and submit a question through our product support page.